Many will be surprised to hear that Royal Enfield is producing the cleanest engines. And the Italian Ducati engines are the dirtiest of all, standing at 11th position. Hi, good morning friends. The famous Indian fighter jet, Tejas, had to finally drop the plan of flying GTRE developed Kaveri engine, mainly due to the issues involving metallurgy and few other technical reasons. In any gas turbine engine, the most critical part which undergoes highest thermal and mechanical stresses is the turbine blade, which is also responsible for generating the desired thrust. Exactly in similar fashion, in a four-stroke motorcycle, it is the engine valves and the whole drive train which undergoes highest thermal and mechanical stresses. Every motorcycle, except the Ducati, uses conventional valve springs, whereas Ducati uses complex Desmo valves which ensures closing and opening both by the cam mechanisms. This design was introduced for racing in 1950s when springs used to fail or cause wall float limiting the engine rpm when the metallurgy was not that advanced however advancement in metallurgy saw use of only spring walls and today a machine like harley davidson pan america has entirely removed the wall adjustment service as they use a hydraulic actuator to adjust its valve automatically ducati engines or as an example, Ducati Hypermotard 939 uses four walls per cylinder. These walls are adjusted by use of shims, both for opening and closing, which makes a total of eight points and in total 16 points considering a twin cylinder engine. So that means these walls are constantly riding over the rocker arms to cause opening and closing action of inlet and exhaust walls which are operated under highest thermal and cyclic stresses. The wear and tear of such a complex judgment drivetrain is going to cause the metal particles circulate within the engine, causing further damage to piston rings, piston cylinder, engine bearings and associated moving parts. On top of all this, if motorcycle is used in a dusty environment like the Delhi, it is going to further add to the wear and tear, as fine dust particles will find its way to such a high performance, fuel and air hungry engine. Delhi is world's second most populous city and daily count of particle matter or air quality index is alarming. In world, nearly 4.2 million people die every year as per figures given by World Health organization. To appreciate what kind of damages it can cause to a motorcycle engine just by dust particles, you have to watch my next video. So coming back to the complex and vintage Desmo walls, my Ducati Hypermotard walls were adjusted at around 21,000 km as engine had various starting and stalling issues. In just about 5,000 km, the motorcycle compression again went down and same needed wall adjustments at around 26,500 km, which is otherwise recommended at 30,000 km as per the service manual. During the wall adjustments and change of various shims, it clearly indicates wear of engine walls and the associated drivetrain mechanism. In aviation industry, a simple oil spectrometry lab test is conducted to check the chemical composition of any metal particles suspended in the oil samples. By comparing the results to the known chemical compositions of various engine parts, abnormal wear of concerned parts can be identified. Such tests can sometimes avoid costly repairs or even catastrophic engine failures. In absence of any oil analysis or such a test, many can ask, how do you prove all this? So here I bring a very interesting and an eye-opening video 
done by most famous YouTube channel named Fortnite. The title of the video is which motorcycle manufacturer is best. The link of video is placed below and same can also be seen at other websites. Fortnite collected oils from brands like Royal Enfield, BMW, KTM, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Honda, Triumph, Suzuki, Harley Davidson, Aprilia and Ducati. And dear friends, many will be surprised to hear that Royal Enfield is producing the cleanest engines. And the Italian Ducati engines are the dirtiest of all standing at 11th position. Leave the China aside for the best known reasons. No doubt Ducati engines deliver performance like a racing motorcycle. But same won't last in real world as publicized. Motorcycle racing and winning titles in a given environment with the support of highly professional technical team is entirely a different ball game which can't be utilized to blanket or bury the basic science of friction. I had taken up the issue of abnormal wear with Ducati headquarters Italy and also with Ducati India, but their long silence on matter confirms my theory. And lastly, if you wish to ride like a Ducati hypermotor rider as shown in promo videos, maybe consider buying a more reliable machine as my experience has been really untrustworthy. Jai Hind and ride safe.